Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is scripting edition of our LZH Project and fourth video of our video series. So in this video we are going to see more about batch scripting and especially if and then statement. So let's carry on our discussion. So in order to create a script with if and then statement we will first create a file. Let's create a file if then dot sh okay same as shebang header with bin bash okay author and our date is third of May 2015 okay <clears throat> so what we would like to do is I'm just going to echo um, let's create the script to find some files uh, what file you are looking for okay so this will get a uh, user input read file it's going to store that input in the uh, variable called file okay and then let's apply the condition if exists uh, so in order to if you uh, remember from my previous video uh, I told you that dash E is to check if file exists and dash D is for if directory exists. So if file exists, file, then first you need to give like if condition and then you need to give then what it should do if the file exists. Echo the file uh, you looking for exists else what if the file doesn't exist the file doesn't exist okay so what it's going to do is and then we end it with fee or file. So the main thing is it's going to echo like ask the user what you're looking for or what file you're looking for and then it's going to store that input by the user in the form of this variable called file. Then it's going to check the script is going to check if the file exists. This file is the same like the user requested for and if the file exists then it's going to echo the files you are looking for exists and else what if the file doesn't exist it's going to echo the file doesn't exist okay let's try to run the script um, what was the name of the file if then okay so chmod plus x if then and let's check what files we have. Okay, we have user.txt and cell.txt. So let's start. If then. <clears throat> okay, what file you are looking for? I'm looking for user.txt. And the file you're looking for exists. Okay, perfect. Okay, what if I try to uh, let's say Linux zero to hero doesn't exist, okay? Linux zero to hero dot. The file doesn't exist. So perfect. So that's how this if and then statement works. Okay, let's try to create one more if then script with numbers. Let's call it numbers.sh okay same thing bin bash 
I don't have these scripts ready made over here on my uh, like diary or on my register so it's I'm just uh, doing it in the very same moment so if some mistakes happen so I'm, um, I really apologize for that anyway so let's um, start with this same like if or let's declare two variables okay number one and number two okay if bracket variable num1 is less than num2 space then equal num1 is less than num2 else echo num1 is greater than num2 okay and close it with 5 so what it's going to do, it's going to check two numbers. And we can ask for user input, but at the moment, uh, we'll make our script more intelligent. But for the moment, let's check this out. Number one is 10 and number two is 20. If num1 is less than num2, and which we know that it's true, then echo num1 is less than num2, else num1 is greater than num2. So let's try to run the script. Ch mod plus x and it's going to return 10 is greater than 20 okay it's not true actually if we can num1 okay what was that if num1 is less than num2 which is true Eco num1 is less than num2. Else, okay, so let's check. Yeah, here's the error. We didn't mention this dollar sign so, uh, because it's a variable. So let's check now. 10 is less than 20 perfect okay so let's change these values let's call this 100 let's check what will happen now 100 is greater than 20 so that's uh, how it works with the if then statement let's make our script more intelligent and this time we will use our user input okay echo enter number one okay or first number read num one echo enter second number read num2 okay and the rest is going to be same if num1 is going to be less than num2 then echo num1 is less than num2 else echo num1 is greater than num2 let's check if it works clear the screen and the first number okay I'm going to press 10 second number 20 so 10 is less than 20 perfect again uh, 5000 3000 
So 5000 is greater than 3000. So that's how we work with if and then statement. And okay. So let's, uh, yesterday, if you remember, we were talking about files, uh, how we created uh, multiple files, the same way we can create multiple directories. And we can do that with mkdir and same curly braces. And let's first need to call dir one, two, three. Okay. Enter. So there we have it. DIR, DIR1, and DIR3. Okay, the same way we can remove them with. Okay, and they're gone. So, <clears throat> yesterday I was also talking about backticks, and basically, backticks are uh, command substitutions. And let me show you how they basically work. And the, alternate method of instead of using backtech what we can use so let's say we have a variable let's call it abc and abc is equals to let's call it backtick of ls dash l t r of directory opt and that's it so what it's going to do is i'm going to store this you know, value of ls dash ltr forward slash opt in the variable called abc okay so now if i echo abc variable it's going to give me the output but not in a clear manner okay so but how i can get output in a proper manner if i add commas so there we have it so the command was substituted ls dash ltr like full command uh, we can enter into backticks and we can make it equal to a variable okay so instead of backtick there is another method you can use for command substitution and that is by using brackets so let's say xyz this time is equals to dollar sign and the brackets and in these brackets i'm going to write ls dash ltr opt okay and press enter so this is going to bring the same results let's say echo xyz okay there we have it so this is known as command substitution okay Okay, so two more commands before uh, I end this fourth part. Uh, one is sequence and the other is sort. And because these two commands are going to come handy tomorrow when I'm going to teach you for loop and uh, the functions. So that's why let's finish these commands today. And what sequence is going to do is it's going to print from 1 to 100 numbers. You give it the first point and second point and it's going to print those numbers okay so the next command is sort and sorting as it's the name suggests that it sorts so let's check what kind of files we have and let's sort these files in order to sort out these files we'll use ls a and sort and there you have it you can just pipe it to less also and we have these in alphabetical orders. Okay, in order to reverse this thing, you'll use sort dash r, and it will reverse the thing. So that was uh, part four of our batch scripting, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have any uh, comments, so you can always post them in my YouTube channel. Please like us on Facebook. And thank you for watching.